this video we're going to look at converting a binary number such as 01101100 and this binary number we're going to try and convert it into a denary number such as 32 or 64 and um, I haven't even checked to see what this is going to convert into yet so let's see if we can figure it out together. Now to convert this 8-bit uh, binary number uh, into deanery, we're going to first of all need to draw a little table to help us out. Now the table is easy to remember because it always starts at 1 and the only step you need to remember is to double as we go up. So double 1 is 2, double 2 is 4, double 4 is 8, double 8 is 16, double 16 is 32 and double 32 is 64 and double 64 is 128. That is uh, the bits that you need to understand. You need to remember that there's eight columns we're going to require because we've got eight digits here. Now we're going to go and write in underneath each of these columns the digits in order that they fit. Um, although this might seem fairly trivial um, and some people will try and squeeze the numbers on top of here, I think actually going through the process, spacing out clearly, when you come to that crucial moment in an exam when you need to get this right, drawing the table is very helpful. So I'm just going to go and copy this across. Um, I generally start from the right hand side. Sometimes you'll be given a number without the eighth number written on it. And in that situation you just assume any numbers to the left are zeros. So if you always draw from the right hand side, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And assuming we hadn't been given that number, we'll just put a zero in there. So now we can see which numbers are required and which ones are not, essentially. So any zeros mean that we don't need that number, and any ones mean that we do need that number. So let's go and write out the number uh, that we need here. So I'm going to start off with, uh, do we need 128? Nope. Do we need 64? Yes. So I write out 64. Do we need 32? Yes. So I write out 32. Do I need 8? Yes. Notice I'm keeping my columns here because I'm going to be adding these up. Do I need the 4? Yes. Do I need anything else? No. So in fact it's just these numbers that I'm going to have to add up. Now I strongly encourage you to use whatever method your maths teacher has taught you and which one you are comfortable with. But we're just going to be adding up those numbers now. So 4 add 2 is 6. 8 add 6 is 14. Add the 4 is 18. Carried my 1 because I'm using this method of addition. 6 of 3 is 9. Add the 1 is 10. And I've got to the answer of 108. So now it's fair to say that the binary number 01101100 is equal to the deanery number 108. Again, this one being binary and this one being deanery.